Oh my God, look at that pigment. Mm. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited about today's video because today I am going to be playing with the new Natasha Denona Mini My Dream Palette. This cute little palette is so beautiful. Here's what my palette looks like. I just pulled this out of the package literally right before I hit the word go. <laughs> so I haven't even really gotten a good look at it. I don't even know if my palette had arrived cracked or anything. So let me take a good look. Okay. Ooh, it's so pretty. Let me open it up. Okay, I love the little splotches in the mini form. Here's what the little palette looks like. It's actually really, really pretty, and I'm super excited to be playing with it today. So let's get into my first look with it. Here is actually the midi size My Dream palette, and I just wanna take a moment to look at them side by side. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I actually really, really like that this is pulling out the cooler tones from within this color story. They're not exact. I'm not saying that it's pulling out the cool shades. But what I'm saying is this mini is drawing inspiration from the cooler aspect within this My Dream palette, which I personally really appreciate because of the fact that this My Dream palette is quite warm, especially with all of these like peachy and fiery shades that it's got going on. And this particular matte here is quite warm. It's a very, very warm brown, as you can see there. So I really, really like the fact that this is a cooler tone. I'm super excited to be playing with this today. Honestly, I bought this palette without even really checking it out. I haven't seen any videos on it. I bought the palette as soon as it launched. I'm a little bit late to get my video up because Texas just went through another Arctic cold blast and I was afraid we were gonna lose power. So I didn't take any of those days to film. <laughs> And that was when, like, I got this palette right before the storm hit. And during that time, also, I was doing a lot of, like, winter prep. So <laughs> I just didn't have a chance to get to it before now. But I'm really excited to play with it today. So let me get my hair pulled back and let's get into an eye look. And this eye look is actually going to be the look that I'm wearing for my date night tonight. So... I am currently in a real casual t-shirt for the day, but I will change for, you know, going out later this evening. And so I want my eye look and my makeup to remain the same. All right. <clears throat> Just trying to keep this hair out of the way and back. All right. Where is my eye primer? I'm going to start off with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. All right, moving on. All right. Okay. I'm going to start off in a manner that I don't normally. I don't normally start off with a super big fluffy brush, but I am going to. And I'm just going to start off with... Let me start off with this shade here. I feel like I think that it's gonna be lighter than it is, but usually Natasha Denona mattes are a little bit darker than I think. So I'm gonna start this off, yeah, see? It's a lot beige. I'm so glad I didn't put that in my inner corner. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a beautiful crease shade though for like a nude everyday look. Oh my God, this is just as beautiful as I expected it to be. The formula is just smooth, easy to blend. And I am just using a fluffy Sigma brush. What is this? This is from the Trend Mood Sigma set a long time ago. I don't think it's available anymore, sadly. I wish that they would have done more of this purple. I love these purple brushes. I love the color of the purple. It's like slightly cool toned. Anyway, okay, so that's a beautiful shade in the crease. I hope you can see how that's starting off. 
I have no idea what kind of looks anybody else has done. So forgive me if I'm like repeating the same vibe as anyone else. <laughs> I'm gonna take my one and only Rosen Ben brush. I do wish I had others. Anyways, I'm gonna use this one brush. It's the E27. I do have a video on this brush if you wanna check that out. I'll link that up here in the eye and down below in the description box. When this video is over, check that out. But I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna start my little smoky corner here. Oh, that's a gorgeous color. Oh my God. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a real pretty purpley taupey kind of a not really brown but like in that kind of a family and i just think that looks so beautiful smoked across the lashes like that <gasps> so nice okay i'm gonna try to replicate that same thing over here having this particular shape in the brush makes it easier because of the the way that it just kind of fits there I do feel like the front over here got darker than this one. I am going to kind of smoke that out, so. Ooh, yeah, love. Oh my God, this mini is beautiful. God, just stunning. Oh my God, look at that pigment. Mm, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna take the same brush. This might be a little bit big for my lower lashes, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. I'm gonna take that same, same dark color and just a little bit on this outer edge. Like that. That one got over a little further, so let me bring this one over to match it. All right. Beautiful. Oh my God, I love that. Okay, I'm not done. Now I wanna take a little bit of this deeper brown and I'm gonna take it on this cute little Sigma brush. I believe this is the 18, the Pro Collection 18. And I'm gonna use this slightly deeper mid-tone shade here the slightly deeper than the other beige it's like a like a tan and i'm just going to kind of go up here into the corner just a little bit like that I'm gonna go back into that first brush with a little bit of that first shade, just to kind of blend that top edge into each other from the mid-tone shade. <sighs> Super pretty. Okay, and because I messed up a little bit of my smoky line, I'm just picking up a little bit more of that dark one to get that kind of deep again. I did say I was going to smoke it out, but now I'm feeling like just leaving it nice and dark. I really like the way that looks. <laughs> okay, so now we just have the two shimmers to use and that's it. I'm going to take this little inner corner highlight brush from the JH Morphe set and I'm going to start off with this super light silvery bright one. It's like a silver white, like a champagne-y color right there in the middle. Let's just see how it looks right here. Ooh, it is nice and shiny, so that's perfect. That's what I wanted for the inner eye. Ooh, it's really impactful, wow. Okay, that might be nice enough to go over a little bit onto the lid. So I'm gonna just bring it on over like that. Just a little bit. A little bit onto the front part of that lid. Okay, and then in between those shades there, 
I'm going to use this little shader brush. This happens to be an It Cosmetics shader brush. And I'm going to take this deeper, smokier shade here. The satin. It's like a, a smokier satin shade. I hope this isn't too dark for where I'm trying to put this. But if it is, we'll put a little bit of the light one over it to save it. Ooh, that's pretty. No, it's just right. That completed the look right there. Wow. I thought it was going to be a little bit more silvery, but it's actually like a really pretty soft, like a real light, light, light taupey beige kind of. Not even a taupey brown, like a taupey beige. Real pretty. Okay, but now that I've done that, I want to get a little bit more of that mid-tone matte and just straighten my line here a little bit from where it runs into the shimmer. Instead of having it angled, I want it to just be a little bit more upright and vertical. All right, like that. Okay. So that's my first look. <laughs> Just kind of really quick, simply thrown together. Didn't really give it a whole lot of thought or anything. And it really came together nicely. A nice, super dramatic, smoky eye look for my date night. I did use every single shade in the palette. And I really like the way all of the shades perform. But I will say, if you're expecting a whole lot of impact out of this particular one here, it's really soft. Let me try it with my finger and see if, ooh, it's nice and creamy. This is what it looks like here. You can see it's just a soft shade in general, but let's just try to build it up. Yeah, see, it doesn't have a lot of impact. It's just kind of like a real pretty satin, but I feel like it's a beautiful shade to go in this palette, and it works really nicely with the other colors. So, all right. Yeah, so here's the I look with the mini my dream palette. I actually think that I like this palette as much as I like this one. And honestly, I like I could pull out a few of these shades and put some of these in its place and be perfectly fine with that as a as like my perfect combination palette. So anyways, I think that um I think this is a really great addition to the My Dream collection. And I think that this mini is a great addition to the minis. I love the mini palettes from Natasha Denona. If I didn't mention sooner, I do have a code with the Natasha Denona website that will save you 15% on your order for a one-time use. The code is Michelle. I will have that inserted here, spelled correctly, and down below in the description box. So be sure to check down there and don't forget to use that code if you want to save 15% off your order. Yeah. Now I'd like to know what you think of this little mini eyeshadow palette. Let me know if you picked this one up. Let me know if you're skipping this one. Are you passing because you're not into the cool tones? Are you picking this one up and you passed on the bigger one and this one's more your style? I'd love to know. Um, yeah, so comment down below. I look forward to reading what you've got to say. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. It really does help my small channel out so much. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel to see additional content from me in the future. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.